All right. Okay, Mint City Soccer Show. We have a very special guest, someone that I've wanted to have on the show for quite a while. Someone I cannot beat in a foot race. Our number one expansion draft selectee, Mackenzie Gaines. Mackenzie, welcome to the show. How are you? Good. Uh, thank you guys so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for, thanks for being here, uh, Mackenzie. And I, I have a, the first question I have to ask is, do you remember this guy in the vault screaming your name and trying to chase you down to join this show at one point in time? Yeah, I sure do. I'm glad that uh, I finally made it on. <laughs> yeah, thanks for making me not feel too, too bad. I, I was not <laughs> expecting you to stop and then uh, kind of threw me off. But yeah, thanks thanks for having me on. Um, the, the, the very first question that everybody wants to know, uh, I get hounded all the time and it's not something that I made up myself. Um, what was it like being introduced at the expansion draft by such a, a legend? Uh, it was <laughs> truly an honor, obviously, to be taken first, but to be announced by such a legend um, doesn't happen every day. So I'll, I'll remember that day for a long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know we're halfway through the season, but I, I do want to return back to to that night. Um, I, I had the honor and privilege to introduce you. Uh, it was a very special moment for, for me, but um, as much as you can tell us, what was that day like for you? How did you get notified and, and how did that all come about? Uh, quite honestly, it was a bit of a shock um, yeah. just because things unfolded so quickly. Um, I was actually on vacation in New York with uh, my girlfriend and a few friends that I have. And I got a call from my agent and he was just like, oh, hey, Charlotte's really interested in taking you in the expansion draft. And this yeah. was um, literally 24 hours before it happened. So uh, oh. I ended up flying home that day. I got home about 10 p.m. and I got another call and it's just like, hey, like it's pretty set in stone. You're going to have a, a call with Miguel, who was the head coach at the time and mm -hmm. um, woke up the next morning bright and early, talked to Miguel and um, he confirmed that he was going to take me. Um, and I was a Charlotte player 10 hours later, so it <laughs> really quickly and it was kind of tough for me to wrap my, my head around at the time, but, um, obviously I'm very glad to be here and, um, we have some great people in the club, great teammates, and, um, we're pushing for our goals and, um, yeah, very happy to be a, a Charlotte FC player. Yeah. Did you, so did you have to, did you move like the next day or did you have to fly into Charlotte the next day? How did that all, how did that all work out? No, uh, I had a, a little bit of a a gap where I could, um, you know, just kind of wrap my head around what happened and um, iron out some of the details. Um, so I think the expansion draft was around December 16th and I actually didn't have to move to Charlotte until uh, the beginning of January. So I had some okay. time just to, you know, to figure out where I was going to stay and um, some stuff like that. So it wasn't uh, such a, a rapid, you know, like movement from, from Austin to Charlotte. I had some time in yeah. between. Nice. Well, we're certainly glad you're here. Thank yeah. You, you. So Mackenzie, so last week you had a chance to play against Chelsea and your old pal Christian Pulisic as well. So what was that experience for you like in Bank of America Stadium and playing against him and the in the club like Chelsea? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, I talked about what an honor it was to be selected in the expansion draft, and obviously it's another honor um, to play against one of the best teams in the world. You know, um, I think they finished third in the Premier League last season, and um, we played against some Champions League winners. So it was really really cool. Um, to be on the same pitch with them, um, with Christian as well, who, uh, you know, I grew up playing with. So, I mean, it's really cool to see, you know, uh, some of the players that I grew up with, where football's taken them. And um, it's always cool crossing paths with those guys and, um, you know, comparing yourself against some of the best players in the world. So, I mean, it was awesome just to, you know, connect with Christian, to play against Chelsea and obviously to win at home, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It was a great night for a lot of fans. I'm glad that you got the chance to experience that for sure. So McKinsey, uh, there's been some comparisons drawn between Charlotte and Austin. Um, since you have the unique perspective of having played for, for both, uh, both expansion sides, uh, what's the biggest similarity between the two teams in the opening season? And what are some of the, I guess, most significant differences? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it's a natural comparison, obviously, to the, the newest expansion teams. And um, having played for both, I'd say that um, two of the similarities are, I think that both clubs have good people in place, um, whether it's coaches or people behind the scenes, you know, medical staff, um, GMs, like really, really good, genuine people um, who care about the club and um, who want to work to better themselves, but also for the, for the club as well. 
I think both teams play or try to play an attractive brand of soccer. Um, and they appreciate, you know, not only the result that goes into winning a game, which is the most important, but um, also how you achieve it. Um, I think that both teams have fantastic supporters. Um, I think Austin sold out pretty much every home game they've played. And obviously our first game here, we got 70,000 fans. <laughs> Last week we played against 50K yeah. um, in front of Chelsea. So, I mean, that's, that's a similar point. But um, difference-wise, I'd say so far, um, you know, last season, um, we at Austin, we had a way that we wanted to play, but you know, the results didn't come till a little bit later in the season, um, which is okay because you see where they're at now. And I mean, they're flying, but I think that here we've kind of hit the ground running and, um, you see that we're competing for a playoff spot, obviously against Toronto, it's a bit of a blow, but I mean, we'll use this week to, to collect ourselves and work on the things that we need to work on and we'll be even better on the weekend. But I mean, I think that it's, um, just a testament to you know the work that we've put in as a team and also the guys behind the scene to to build such a, a competitive team you know right off the bat and I mean we're eighth in the standings right outside the playoffs and I mean obviously we've been very open and adamant about our goals of making the playoffs and we think that that's a realistic you know goal that we can achieve and we'll keep working for that. So Mackenzie you kind of answered my, my next question there just with that which is drawing from your experience with Austin right and obviously we had a result this past weekend that and not many of us wanted to have happen, right? But how do you now look ahead and just prepare for that next match and then really the second half of the season with those goals of wanting to become a playoff team? Sure. I mean, like I said, um, it's a bit of a blow, obviously, because we wanted to take our, our good morale and um, energy that we had from that Chelsea game and translate it to that one. But um, soccer is not always that easy, and it doesn't always come like that and doesn't always happen like that. And, you know, that's okay. Obviously, I think the entire team is disappointed with our performance and – um, we'll take it on our neck. We'll take responsibility for it. And like I said, we'll use this week to get even better and um, show everybody what we can do on, on the weekend. But um, I'm a firm believer that it's always better to lose one game 4-0 than four games 1-0. You know what I mean? So um, we'll, we'll bounce back this weekend and um, we'll make we'll make the fans proud. Love that. And I definitely look forward to it because I know uh, Columbus is here this weekend. I'll, we'll, be, we'll be sure to make some noise for y'all here at home. Yeah, so that's going to be great. Um, so question for you. So I, I guess from the last question for me was just really like, what's been some of your favorite moments that, so far this season? So I know last year you got to be the expansion team with Austin, but this year with Charlotte, like what's been a favorite moment for you, uh, reflecting back halfway through the season so far? Um, I think the one that really sticks out to me is, uh, just that first game against galaxy, hmm. you know, um, it showed really just how special it is to, to play here at the bank and, um, 70,000 fans, something that I'll never forget. Um, you know, I'm, I may not ever get the chance to play in front of that many fans again. So I'll definitely take that with me and I'll remember it. And um, I'll look back on whenever my career is over, I'll, I'll look back on my time with Charlotte very, very fondly because of it. Yeah, I, that's definitely probably my, my favorite moment as well, just because like you said, you never – you never get to have a chance of playing or seeing 70,000 plus fans in a stadium for soccer, especially in Charlotte and something right. special. And it was an inaugural match at home. It was an amazing experience. So thanks for being a part of it. I know for me as a fan, it's going to be a great experience for me to always remember and cherish. So awesome. Yeah, it really was amazing. So when you're, when you're not playing soccer, uh, people want to know, like, what are, what do you do for fun? Um. <laughs> I love hanging out with friends. I have some really good, you know, friends on the team. Uh, can't name them all because I don't want to leave anybody out and, you know, get them mad at me. But I have some really good friends on the team. Uh, my girlfriend just recently moved here from Austin, Texas. So, you That's know, nice. spending time with her. Um, really just spending time with people that I care about and um, just having fun with them. Have you had a chance to, you know, travel around, I know, you know, with, with playing and, and training and everything, you don't have a lot of free time, but uh, have you had a chance to explore uh, outside of Charlotte too? Uh, not really outside of Charlotte, to be honest. I haven't really seen too much of the Carolinas outside of the city. So I'm looking forward to doing that soon. Um, but, you know, we'll, we're uh, at different spots in the city, whether it's going out to eat or, you know, doing something fun. So, I mean, I think that's something that I could do more and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, also, too, people want to know, uh, are you the fastest player on the team? I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who would be second? Who would, who would give you a run for the money? Uh, over what distance? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh let's, let's, do, let's do 10 yards. 
10 yards. Oh, 10 yards is close. Whoa. Uh, man, we have a really, we have a lot of guys that are pretty quick over 10 yards. I'd say like Jalen's pretty quick over 10 yards. Um, hmm, Adam, when he sits quick over 10 yards, Joseph Moore is quick over 10 yards. Uh, 10 is tricky. 10 is yeah. tricky. Um, well, let's do, let's do 20 then. <laughs> uh, same guys. I mean, I think that it gets a little bit different whenever you open up to like 50 yards or a hundred yards. Cause obviously, you know, first 10 is about like the first three steps, but then it becomes about who can really just maintain their top speed. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah. And I, I think that's, that's where you are kind of stand out. Right. I, I've seen you play a lot and like, you know, there'll be a loose ball and you could just, you have this extra gear that you could just burn past people. Um, well, thank you. Yeah. But, but let me ask you this, you know, like you, you've been getting minutes. Um, what do you think about your position? Is that where you like to play? Would you, would you want to move over to the, to the other side of the field? Or are you pretty comfortable where you are right now? I like playing on the right. Yeah. Um, I think that as a winger, I, I feel like most guys are pretty comfortable playing on both sides, which I am too, but I'd say on the right side is probably my favorite position on the field. Uh, last question, because I know, I know you're super busy. What it, what it has surprised you about Charlotte specifically, the team, staff, or anything like that? Um, very, I wouldn't say surprised, but it's very pleasant to, you know, walk into an environment where everybody's so accepting. Um, mm -hmm. So I, as you guys know, played for Austin last season, which is my hometown. You know, mm -hmm. I grew up maybe – 15 minutes from the stadium and, and the training facility. So it really was special being there. And, you know, I feel like I had, you know, a pretty good connection with everybody just because I was that hometown guy. Um, but then I came here and I mean, I've made relationships with other people that um, really have surprised me just because, you know, um, you don't really find, you know, too many genuine people everywhere that you go. But I'd say that we have a lot of those people um, here in Charlotte. And I really do mean that, um, whether it's, you know, the people on the team or the people behind, behind the scenes or, um, the guys in upper management. So, I mean, it's really been a pleasure to, to, to work with them and to be here. And, um, I think also another thing that's, you know, kind of surprised me and you look back at preseason, obviously we weren't, um, a full roster, but I mean, the results weren't where we wanted them to be, even against teams like Charleston Bat Battery. But I mean, you see the way that we've worked and the way that we've grown and um, how we're competing. And um, it's kind of unfortunate that I'm saying this after a 4-0 loss, but I think that all in all, um, the boys have really done a good job just to, you know, kind of cement themselves in the league. And um, we'll give a game to, to pretty much anyone in the league. And we're looking to, to show that again this weekend. So, yeah. yeah. All right. I, I lied. I do have one last question that Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Eklund wanted me to ask. Um, you're from Austin. So right. who has the better barbecue? I'm sure you get this question a lot. You know, I've gotten this before and I haven't <laughs> had any Charlotte barbecue. So okay. oh, I'm right. okay. inclined to be able to answer the question, unfortunately. That's all right. Well, you guys are going to have to put me on a, onto a good spot and then I, I can answer it the next time I'm on. I'll, I'll just do a quick plug because I know they were in like the kit reveal, but a uh, sweet lose if you get a chance to go out and explore in Charlotte. So it's, it's in Noda, North Charlotte, Belmont area. Um, some good barbecue there. So Noted. Appreciate that. Well, Mackenzie, thank you so much for finally coming on the show. I appreciate it. I've been hounding you for a while, <laughs> bothering you. So thank you so, so much. And really good luck the rest of the season, especially good luck this weekend. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll back some goals. Yeah, hoping so. Thank you again for having me on. Yeah. I'm glad that we could finally make it happen. Yeah, I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Mackenzie. See you. All right. Y'all have a good one.